Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the mid-month love readings for all zodiac signs. Uh, this is going to be for Pisces, Moon, Sun, and Rising. If you guys are interested in private consultations, definitely look at the description box below. You'll be able to find my contact information on there. So let's get to it. Uh, Pisces, let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the mid-month of September, going all the way to the beginning of October regarding your love uh, and partnerships reading, okay? So let's get to it. I've been shuffling the cards for quite a while. I'll be pulling out four cards for you, then four cards for the person you're dealing with or the person that you're partnered with and the central issue. So let's get to it. Okay, I think this is the last, yeah. All right, Pisces, whoa. Definitely not liking this. You have the Three of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, and the Two of Wands. Partner's cards is the Wheel of Fortune, the Pope, the Nine of Swords, the Seven of Wands. What's going on, Pisces? What the hell? Okay. So let me pull out one more card. This is going to be your Central Issue card. Let's see. Spare guides. Central Issue card for Pisces. Regarding the love card for the mid-month of September 2017. Okay, so I was going to pull out one card and uh, three cards popped out, so we're going to go with that. Okay, so the central issue is the three of wands, the hanged man, and the page of wands. All right, so Pisces, the central issue obviously has to do point blank with the third party energy. The three of wands here is definitely talking about hoping or wanting to hear from your partner. Perhaps they were there was... Um, you guys are taking some time away, some time apart, or there is a misunderstanding that brought distance between you guys. Uh, the three of wands, again, like I said, is I feel that this is more your energy, though. You're looking towards the future, but you still have, you know, one wand in the in the past, meaning you're like you don't know if you want to move forward or if you want to go back. This is how you've been feeling, and it probably has to do with the fact of the hanged man definitely talks about being stuck or being in an unfulfilled relationship. The page of wands definitely talks about uh, a lot of communication back and forth. Doesn't necessarily have to represent the partner that you're with. It can represent you dealing with other people. It could be other males or females. Um, for some of you guys, you guys may be dealing with a fire sign. Fire sign would be a Leo, Sagittarius, um, Leo Sagittarius or an Aries or for others of you you may be dealing with the Taurus you may also be dealing with an air sign so I see all the signs here the only sign I don't see is your sign which is water sign um, but anyways so again there is definitely some type of pause or some type of uh, wanting and having the innate need for clarity because you're you're not happy where you're at at the present time and it's like, you know, you're scared to move forward. You're scared to move away from this relationship. And it can represent that you're scared to move away because of all the time you've invested, all the effort you've put. But the hanged man can also represent, um, it's usually like the martyr. Uh, there is some type of sacrifice that comes with the hanged man. And what the three and the hanged man and the page is telling me is that you need to come to the realization that when it's mutual, when there's a mutual connection or when there, it's uh, love that is definitely reciprocated, there's no sacrifices. If there is a sacrifice, um, it would be outside energy. It doesn't have to do with your energy and your partner's energy. At this point, uh, Spirit is definitely telling you, for those of you guys that have been in a committed relationship for a long time, uh, the Page of Wands is definitely talking about it's time for you to take on the challenge of moving forward and embrace new beginnings, okay? Now, your cards at the present time, you have the Three of Swords and the Page of uh, Pentacles. So there's definitely a third-party energy here going on. If you've been wondering why your partner's been acting a little bit standoffish, if there is, in fact, some time... Uh, that you guys are not dealing with each other, not communicating as much. This can also represent, uh, the page can also represent you texting them or you calling them. And then the hanged man is like, they're pretty much not giving you the time of day. 
And if they do, it's like on their terms and when they want to. And it has to do with the, the Three of Swords here. These are your cards and this is what's coming to you. So the Three of Swords, there's definitely a third party type of energy. Um, the Page of uh, Pentacles could be that you've been putting too much effort or a lot of effort into your business or your work. Um, and that's where the imbalance came, or it could be that they're using that as an excuse to not be connecting with you on a deeper level. So it's like, if you guys have different types of schedules, uh, it could be that they're very easily saying, well, I didn't respond because I didn't want to wake you up, or I didn't respond because I knew you were at work or whatever the case may be. But all of this ultimately has to do with excuses more than anything. The reason I say that is because we have the page of swords here and the two of wands. So the Page of Swords is definitely an, a very forceful type of energy. Uh, at this point, you're stressed. You're not dealing with this bullshit. And you're even to the point or at the brink of walking away and cutting the cords with this partnership, okay? Now, how your partner is dealing with the situation or how they see the relationship, the Wheel of Fortune is definitely talking about these are higher major arcana. So this has to do with timing for them. So the Wheel of Fortune is definitely talking about there is an ending here, okay? Because with the Wheel of the Year, just like the Karma or just like the um, Judgment card, the past comes back around, but it comes back around so you could finally put it to rest. Versus the Wheel of Fortune here, what it's talking about is there's an ending cycle, okay? And this is how they're seeing the relationship. So perhaps for some of you guys, uh, they're seeing the relationship like it's it's not going to get any better. We've been at the top and it wasn't that great. And we're at the bottom right now where things are just not getting any better. Uh, the Pope card here next to the, the just, uh, sorry, next to the Wheel of Fortune can also be a representation of them dealing with either a Virgo or a Taurus, uh, definitely an earth sign. And the Wheel of Fortune could be, again, a person that they've met or someone that they've known for quite a while now, but they never took it to the next level. And I feel like they're putting effort into this person. This is usually a person that is very knowledgeable. This is a person that perhaps is training them even where they work at. Uh, if you hear, you find out that he's, he or she is taking on new classes or a new training or something, uh, just understand and know what's really going on. Now, the Wheel of Fortune can also represent um, them having clarity and understanding that they do want to commit, um, that it's time for them to commit to the relationship, meaning if you guys have been in a long-term committed relationship for a long time, but there's no marriage involved, they're starting to either think the only way to make it better or to the next step, uh, the next conscious step to take is to get married and that is definitely something they're not wanting to do because the nine of swords is here and the nine of swords is feeling stuck feeling anxiety towards uh this type of commitment um having almost like they're purposely reaching out to other people or communi communicating with other people because they don't want to commit to you um they don't see it as something that they have to do but more so that this is something you're wanting or that it's inevitability. And they're definitely bringing up excuses or making like, excuse my language, but technically they're fucking up on purpose. So you can then feel like, you know what, this is enough. I've dealt with enough bullshit. And at this point, like, I'm not going to deal with it anymore. And they can use that as an excuse. Like, you know, you're misjudging me or you're treating me this way or trying to force me to do something I don't want to do. Um, but the seven of wands is definitely like uh, a feeling of like I have to protect myself or I have to. The, the nine. OK, so I'm getting a lot of messages. Give me one second. All right. So the nine of swords, they're definitely feeling tight and they're feeling bounded. And they know that there is nothing other than either to move in with each other or get married. And that's bringing anxiety to them. They're not wanting that. They're not wanting that at all. Now, the seven of wands here is like they have to defend themselves. So the only way, the only analytical way that they can possibly defend themselves is through the fact of literally fucking up on purpose. So then you can 
see some type of love yourself enough or self-worth to walk away because they they don't have the heart to tell you I am not wanting to move forward in this relationship so I hope that makes sense to some of you guys I know it's not going to make sense to a lot because it's a very direct message but moving on for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship the three of swords is definitely talking about third-party energies and it probably has to do with you Pisces that you're dealing with other people or communicating with other people the page of swords here is definitely talking about people spying on you um, this could be your partner telling their friends go to his page go to her page to see what you've been up to and there is definitely an awareness that they're seeing or that they hear or that they find out that you're actually communicating with another female or male energy now the wheel of fortune here and the pope card together are definitely symbolizations of an ending cycle here uh the wheel of fortune if you guys have been struggling with money wise or actually not struggling sorry if you guys have been overindulging when it comes to abundance um and prosperity be careful not to overspend or overindulge on things you don't really need because there is definitely uh, a little bit of uh, tension or a little bit of stuckness coming for you guys probably by the end of the month going into the beginning of September. This could be your partner because these are your partner's cards. So another thing is pay very close attention to the dealings that your partner is doing. If they sell or if they work on the side and do things, extra things on the side to make more money, Pay attention to that because I feel that there is going to be some clarity coming out for you guys uh, by the end of the month that has to do with double dealing. So what I mean by double dealings, it could be that if they do money on the side or there's something that, uh, you know, they make extra money with certain gigs or whatever, there is going to be a situation that arises with this nine of swords and the seven of wants where they're going to be put in a situation where they're going to have to clarify that to you and there's going to be a feeling of them having to defend themselves or defend their honor or prove something to you so be very mindful about that okay so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this reading like share and comment my videos if you haven't subscribed to my channel definitely subscribe and we will see each other in the beginning of october okay bye